Welcome to my video, um, demonstrating DeWalt tools. This is the sofa saw. Um, I'm not sponsored, just to note, I'm not sponsored by DeWalt. This is just me doing it so other tradesmen and professional DIYers can uh, have a, a view of the equipment. This, this model here is a DCS391 18 volt XR system, as you can see from the video there. Um, again, very, very good tool. And what's good about this, one of the gooder features, is that it's lightweight, so if you want to take it up on roof or do some work upside down or something like that, it, it's not too heavy or clumsy. It is heavy, don't get me wrong. Um, what's good about this, all cast, die metal parts to it, no plastic, so if you do have to drop it, which I have done, it doesn't cause any damage. Right, so uh, get to the features. I'm using this on a 4 amp power battery. You can get 5 amp power, you can get 6 amp power, but the cost of those is actually unbelievable. So um, right, that's why I run these on. Best way to purchase these is um, bare units, don't buy a kit, because um, inevitably they all end up in a box anyway. Okay, right, on to the safety features. The safety feature is it's got a lock in the trigger locks itself. So to release the trigger, you push that down there and away you go. And for the left-handed people of us, you got the same again, it's locked, push the trigger down and it goes. Right, for the adjustments, very, very simple. In fact, nearly all circular saws are this way. It's just a quick release on there, and the, the bed goes up and down like that. Just as simple as that. And just push it back over like that. You've got a measurement down this side if you want to uh, measure. If you can see that on the video, just a measure down there. Um, personally, I don't use that. I just always check it with uh, depth across there with a, with a tape measure. Um, okay, that's that's there to lock. That there locks the motor if you want to take the blade off, which you might do for sharpening or different types of style of cutting. A good, and this is plastic, hard guard for that, which is good. On the front, we've got a method of tilting the blade so you can go 45 whatever I've done 145 but you know just say you get on that it depends on what kind of job you're doing there is a guard which I can't quite find hand which goes across there if you want to do parallel work which just clips in there and clips in there right now just for a quick demo of it just to show you how quick and easy it is from from my point of view it's a very quiet saw um, if he was going to do a lot of work I would recommend a corded one but just for average day work, this is brilliant, absolutely brilliant, doors or whatever. So just remember always again, so you want safety glasses and earmuffs, and here we go. You can see how effortless that was going through there, that's 20mm, um, 18mm ply. Just, just went through it and I think just doing a quick one for you again just to show you. Just straight off like that. There we go. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.